Hi, my name is Amanda I'm with Community Roots Farm, Oceanside's nonprofit urban farm. My name is Acilia with Community Roots and Garden Unidos, um, which is another urban farm in Oceanside. So today we are here at South Oceanside Elementary School at the Garden. South Oceanside Elementary is home to four distinct gardens, um, the first of which is a California native garden, fruit orchard, seasonal veggies, as well as a butterfly garden. These gardens teach the students about concepts about stewardship, nutrition, and plant science. Today we're excited to share with you some tips on how to grow veggies in the school garden or at home. San Diego's climate allows us to grow food all year round. During the warmer seasons of spring and summer, we can grow crops like corn, tomatoes, epazote, melons, which enjoy a warmer climate. During the cooler seasons of fall and winter, um, crops like Broccoli, carrots, and onions thrive with more moisture and less sunlight. Fortunately for us, plants that like cooler weather can be grown under shade or in a cooler area year round. There's always something for us to plant and grow in each season. How to plant seasonally in San Diego County. So some simple ways to start planting are to use a seed starting soil, or a planting mix um, to get even and uniform germination. Germination is when a seed breaks out of its shell. Make sure to keep your seeds moist during germination and plant your seeds at the correct depth. Once seedlings have two sets of leaves, feed them with compost or natural fertilizer. Avoid extremes, not too little and not too much. And now these seedlings are ready to be transplanted in the garden. You also want to think about where to plant. Plants and gardens thrive with lots of sun. Some vegetables like full sun for many hours, while others enjoy a nice shady spot. Consider potential shade from trees or nearby buildings. Pay attention to the sun's changing seasonal angles. In summer, the sun rises and sets further with a high overhead arc. In winter, the sun rises and sets to the south and does not get too high in the sky. Not enough sunlight can affect the health of your plants. Now you've picked your spot and you're ready to plant. Soil provides nutrients, water, and minerals to our plants. It should feel fluffy and water should be able to drain. This makes sure the plant doesn't get unwanted bacteria, fungus, or root rot. Container plants need holes at the bottom to allow for drainage after watering. As the plants grow, pay attention for yellowing leaves or if the plant looks unhealthy. If everything is looking good and there are no bugs eating on the plants, but the plant is still struggling to grow, you may need to add some more fertilizer to the soil. If everything looks good and there are no bugs on the plant, but it is still struggling to grow, you may need to add more fertilizer to the soil. 